to be time my damies topcat here and welcome back to the channel i gotta thank zer as he gave me the class item i have been chasing for weeks this kit gave me the flare and area of effect damage of the arc 3.0 kit with plenty of power and tons of damage resist it's not strictly an ability spam build we've got great weapon functionality too but this will does center around the combination blow its base damage is 86 85 when we get a kill, it's going to instantly refund our class ability charge. Paired with Gambler's Dodge, we can refund our melees when dodging next to our foes. This combo below grows in strength with each kill. With one stack, we do close to 14,000. With two stacks, this jumps to 22k and maxes out at three stacks, doing 35,000. We keep this damage stack for 20 seconds, so we've got plenty of time to find your next prey. With Faceted Courage, our Arc, Solar and Void abilities deal increased damage to targets affected by Darkness debuffs. As we have that infinite dodge and punch circle jerk, this means an infinite source of slow with that Winter Shroud aspect. Now two of these dodges is enough to freeze a foe, but they just need to be tickled to get you that 10% bonus so our melees can jump to 39k. With Shield Crush in the Artifact, when we have either Frost Armor, Woven Mail or Overshields, our melees will hit 25% harder for a bit over 48,000. On our class item, in that second column, we can pick from either Lies Handshake or Syntheseps. My Synthos increases melee to 58,000, which is more than enough to chew through those hordes. You might be up close and personal, but you don't need big balls to play this way. As with Faceted Blessing, we will heal ourselves on those kills. Heavy Handed beats us orbs of power on these melee kills. I've equipped two of them, so we can create an orb of power every five seconds. We've got Recuperation and Better already on our kicks. This will give us a bump in health and begin that health regeneration. Galvanic Armor is going to give us that big D energy. Whilst we're Amplified, we get a 30% damage resist. Our Arc Melee is going to keep us topped up with that the whole time. With Facet of Protection, we gain a damage resist whilst we are surrounded. Base, this is 15% DR, whilst Transcendent, this jumps to 32%. This build works better with either the Tether or the Squall, but any super will slot in. I've gone Squall, we pair that with Facet of Purpose. This will either give us Overshields or in my case, Frost Armor, when we pick up Force of Power. This gives us up to 22.5% damage resist when we collect those orbs of power. We use the powerful attraction mod on our class item to collect these orbs of power with ease whenever we dodge. We don't want to be scrambling around trying to get health back and damage resist benefits when we can just collect them as we go. What makes this kit feel like the OG Arc 3.0 kit is the AOE. At the beginning of Final Shape, our combo blow builds didn't have this. We then got those exotic class items, one had the Caliban's hand, which dealt tons of solar damage. But with shock and awe in the artifact, we can let out jolt explosions on our arc melee kills. This does have a 5 second cooldown, but trust you don't need it any more than that with the level of area of effect it chucks out. I've chosen the threaded spectre aspect for several reasons. Firstly, that clones distraction game is insane. It's the nipple slip of aspects. Enemies are so distracted by this guy. You may as well be invisible as they'll be looking straight at it. Each clone distracts up to three. It's bonus area of effect damage and it's gonna help trigger those jolted targets in the background. So with this kit, I want that transcendence to come effortlessly. Our main tool is that arc melee combo with both of our aspects applying darkness damage off of our dodges. So I would suggest a light grenade. I like the solar scatternade as it's a good bit of distraction and can be thrown in close quarters. I'm running fast at a ruin. This makes our shatters bigger and ignitions deadlier. This is mainly to make that tornado dust mofos quicker, but it will also make our transcendent grenades more potent. So on that class item, we've either got our synthos or liars, but what I really wanted to pair it was, was spirited dragon. This gives us better weapon handling and reloads weapons when dodging. On any hunter build, whether you're running a reload dodge or gambler's dodge, it's a defining trait of your kit. But with both of them, it's freaking tasty. 
I've been wanting a good mountaintop build for some time, but as breech like grenade launchers traditionally hold one in the mag, I hadn't really used it all too much. But this class item has eliminated my worries. Mine rocks recombination, with every kill we get, that's another 10% bonus weapon damage. And when I say energy kill, that can be our abilities, super, weapons, it doesn't matter. At base this does 50k a grenade, and that's going to double to 100,000. I know traditionally a lot of peeps often pair the roly poly hunter with a one two punch shoddy but personally I find the melees do most of the work in close quarters anyway. What I was looking for was solid burst damage from afar. With Faceted Dawn we've got Radiant on tap. We get Radiant off those powered melee attacks. The combo blow doesn't actually use that melee charge if you don't get a kill with it so it's always ready to duel with anti barriers. And I'm going to pair that with my indebted kindness so I can deal with both unstops and overloads. Now feel free to pause here for all my mods, stats and artifacts, but there will be a dim link in the description down below. I'm really loving this class combo. It's given me that weapon utility that I've always sought out on a roly poly hunter. And shock and awe in the artifact has essentially given us back that lethal current aspect from Arc 3.0 to give us tons of AoE damage. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, what's your favourite mountaintop role? Make sure to thumb it if you dug it, sub if you're new, and as always, tippy time my damies, what a time.